Rodney Hubbard Sr., who joins us this morning from Car Square. Thank you again, everyone, and uh, Rodney, the uh, microphone's yours. Thank you. First of all, I want to say that I stand here and representing the Car Square Tenant Management Corporation. Uh, my chairman, Ms. Uh, Parthenia White, cannot be here today, but we do have some of our community leaders, Mr. Gary Parker, who's a product of Car Square and is also the chairman of the St. Louis Housing Authority. Mr. Todd Iron Eels, who also is a product of Car Square and who is an entrepreneur, and also Ms. Cantina, who her father was one of the first uh, 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 people that came out of Car Square to uh, start the Wilson Tax Cabin Taxi Services. Uh, I want to first talk about Car Square and Tenant Management Corporation and Car Square Neighborhood. Uh, so all of you all would know, Car Square was uh, formed in 1972. We have been in the corporation for 35 years. Uh, it came from the village that was built in 1942, which is 65 years ago. And we have been participating in development and co-development of this particular area for over 25 years. In that process of doing development, we worked on numerous projects. Uh, we've uh, developed a property in excess of $70 million. We currently hold uh, site control of about 28 acres of land. So we are on the forefront of trying to collaborate with the new tools that has been brought to the table so we can expand and be involved in the development that's going throughout North St. Louis. Uh, as I have always envisioned that the politicians are not the ones that is the gatekeeper for our neighborhood. I strongly believe that they are the vessel that need to be used to lock and unlock what we want to come within our community for the stakeholders and the people. So I stand here today, and I stand here yesterday, and I'll stand here tomorrow and for the future for to make sure that the communities are involved in the process of developing what goes on throughout North St. Louis. That is so important because with the drying up of subsidy, we need to partner with any developer that comes in North St. Louis to keep the economic development and funds coming so we can become self-sustaining and self-sufficient. So in, in, in saying that, I strongly urge and I support any type of uh, uh, incentives that we can use to develop our particular community. Thank you. Uh, let me bring up State Representative Rodney O. Hubbard, my son. Thank you. I just want to begin by saying that as you can see behind me is a diverse group of people who really care about the revitalization of their community. And I'll be honest with you, a lot of the things that were in the legislation we did not agree upon. But this is a process, this is a piece of legislation that, that's in working. And the first bill that the governor vetoed, it wasn't the best bill. And I'm not saying that this is the best bill, but at the end of the day, we want to make sure that the appropriate Organizations are at the table. I commend Old, Old North St. Louis uh, for being vigilant. I commend Michael Allen uh, for bringing this issue to the forefront. And I commend the Core Square neighborhood for being a stakeholder in our community and standing for African Americans and not just African Americans, but poor folks in the city of St. Louis who do not want to be displaced and who want to be a product of their environment and who really want to see revitalization. There's a lot of work that goes into crafting a piece of legislation. Uh, we have to make sure that we have the appropriate people at the table who want to make sure that the legislation is shaped. Uh, Hubbard Sr. stated that it's not about the politicians. He's correct. This neighborhood is made up of neighborhood organizations, and I want to assure the neighborhood organizations who are joined with me today and those who could not afford to be here that myself and Senator Jeff Smith will continue to watch the process. We offered amendments that would ensure uh, local control, no eminent domain can be used. That's not going to happen. Uh, in this legislation, we're talking about a tool of uh, $100 million being used to revitalize not only North St. Louis, but it's a tool that all developers are going to be trying to put their hands in the pot. But I will assure all these organizations who are here today that we will watch the process, we will continue to offer uh, pieces of legislation that will make sure that the neighborhood organizations have a voice because at the end of the day, 
We have to come back to our communities. As you know, politicians come and go.